a very good morning to all of you last class we learned why leaves are green and what do they need to make their food right so today what we are going to learn is how do leaves get sunlight water and air to make food so we will look into that in detail okay children so let us see first thing sunlight you can see leaves absorb sunlight which falls on them that is why have you seen the leaves are flat and very thin why to absorb the sunlight which they receive so the leaves are arranged on a plant in such a way that they receive enough sunlight so whatever sunlight is required by that particular plant or tree that leaves absorb it so let us see the next thing we saw how water as well as carbon dioxide sunlight air everything helps plant to make food so this is the way how leaves act and now we will see how the water plays a part in making the food roots have narrow tubes you can see here in the picture they have narrow tubes so these tubes form a continuous network in the whole body of the plant so root absorbs water from the soil what what do they do they absorb the water from the soil and this water travels through the networks of the tube to reach to the leaves and as well as the other parts of the plant so likewise plant get water from the roots it absorbs water from the soil now let us see the next thing is leaf veins so children can you see here you can see that on the screen you can see the leaf they it has got many veins inside right so these while looking closely at leaf we can see these fine line structures which is called as leaf veins so these narrow tubes are called the leaf vein it's a narrow tube which is seen on the surface of the leaf and you can see the main vein in the center i'll show you the main vein in the center is called as midrib okay so this is called as midrib so veins what do they do veins transport food and water to the plant they also support the leaf so their main activity is to uh, pass on the food and water to the other parts of the uh, plant as well as to support the leaf okay now you can see on page 27 we have an activity here which has to be done by you let's see what is the activity for the day you have to take a white carnation or a balsam flower with a stem okay make a fresh slanting cut at the end of the stem you can see in the picture how you need to cut the stem so in a slanting way you have to cut the stem and take a vase with tap water fill that vase with the tap water and add a little food color in it now place the flower in the vase okay now what you need to do is you have to observe the flower after few hours observe the petals with a magnifying lens okay you have to observe the petals with the magnifying lens so that it is clear to you what changes happens you have to notice what has the colored water reached the petals how did the colored water reach the petals you have to observe and understand and write it and do the petals have vein let's find out through this observation okay so you all have to do this activity what you need to do is write your observation in a notebook you can send us the picture of the same to our microsoft teams okay this is the activity number 1 for the day we learned how the plants get the sunlight and how they get the water and also we learned about the leaf veins now let us see the next carbon dioxide how they get it how the plants get this carbon dioxide see there are tiny holes as we learned in the last class called stomata on the surface of the leaf that looks like this these these are these pores which is called as stomata so what it does it absorbs carbon dioxide from the air to make the food these holes absorb the carbon dioxide from the air do you know plant does not use all the food that it makes 
the food that does not get used is stored as starch and that starch is stored in the parts of the plant in the stem it is stored roots leaves fruits seeds flowers also it is stored okay now let us see which parts of the plant gives us food we all know that's the roots it stems leaves flowers fruits seeds right let's see the food items which we get from roots of the plant examples we get carrots beetroot and sweet potato food items we get from stems of the plant are what ginger we get potato you all might be mistaking it that potato is a root vegetable no potato grows in a stem called tubers it's a vegetable which we receive from stem not from the root so just keep that in mind and as well as sugar cane it's a stem which we get from the plant next is food item we get from leaves spinach cabbage and lettuce next food items we get from flowers of the plant that's cauliflower and that's banana blossom and broccoli food items we get from fruits of the plant we all know orange mango apple so we get lot of fruits from the plants and food items we get from seeds of the plant rice wheat and dal and all other grains also we get from the plant okay so these are all used in our daily diets right so we learned leaves get sunlight in what way they get sunlight and in what way they get water and in what way they get carbon dioxide how they absorb it we learned in detail right so children that's all for today's class we'll uh, meet in the next class till then thank you <music>